Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my shower caddy tutorial. Um, I guess I'll start off by showing you what I'm wearing. A quick little outfit of the day as well. Um, for jewelry, I am wearing a Seiko watch, a couple of vintage little bracelets um, that I got at some like secondhand stores. And then this one here is just like out of the 99 cent bin at Charlotte Russe. Um, as far as necklace goes, I am wearing a little heart pendant necklace that I got from my boyfriend a couple years back in some little Takori studs. As far as an outfit goes, this is just kind of like a loose fitting top I got at Pull and Bear. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a little bandeau top underneath, so I'm not showing you my bra. No worries. Um, these are just yoga pants from Victoria's Secret. They put the little flap over thing, and I'm just <laughs> wearing little Kmart flip flip flop slippers. Okay, and today you guys get to see what's in my shower caddy at school. Pretty exciting. Um, I guess I will start off with shampoo. I do use Redken All Soft shampoo. Um, sorry, here we go. And what I do like to do is with my caddy like I don't want to carry around these big liters of shampoo so I just put my shampoo and conditioner in these little like travel size containers you can get at like Target or Walmart they are travel friendly which is nice okay so I use Red Canal All Soft Shampoo um, and I alternate that with the um, I mean several different kinds but right now I've been alternating with John Frieda Sheer Blonde Color Renewed Tone Restoring Shampoo. Um, this is the old bottle, but you guys probably seen it. It's just got like purple clarifying shampoo. I think it does a really good job. Um, I've been using this for a while. Like I said, I don't like to stick with one just because I feel like um, my hair doesn't react really good after like a month or so, so I like to switch it up. Um, and then as far as conditioner goes, I like to use the Redken All Soft Conditioner. And then I'm also, um, since I've been at school, I've noticed that the water is much harsher than water at home. So I've been using the Pantene Beautiful Links Replenishing Mask. And I have found it smells really good and it works really good. I don't know if you can see how much I've used of that. Here. A lot. But basically what I'll do is I find that pretty much every other time I shower, um, I'm, I use the deep conditioning mask. And what I will do is I'll get in a nice shampoo right away and then I will take the deep conditioner and I'll put it from like here all the way down through the ends of my hair. And then what I will do is I will take this comb, which I just got like Sally's Beauty Supply, and I'll comb all the way through to make sure it's even throughout. And then I will take this cap, this little beautiful shower cap, which is like lined with plastic. And I just got it, uh, I want to say Marshalls for like $3.99 or something. Um, love it. So I'll put that on my head and let the conditioner kind of do its duty while I am doing everything else that I need to do. By the way, I did want to mention, um, don't ever pay full price for the liters of Redken shampoo, conditioner, Joyco, stuff like that. Um, I find that pretty frequently Ulta does the buy one get one freeze and like I think it takes me like almost a year to go through those anyways since I do alternate them. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend not paying full price um, so that way you can get both of those big shampoos. Um, for like $14.99 or something. It might be off by a little, like a few dollars, but definitely wait for that. Don't pay full price if you don't have to. And I've been seeing that, um, my TJ Maxx has been carrying Joyco and Redken, which I think is amazing, so definitely check out there as well. So while that's all, like, in my hair, kind of, like, soaking in, I'll kind of let the heat of the shower, like, hit the cap and just get all steamy in there and then I like to use um, an exfoliator probably I guess I should say I have like 
um, normal to dry skin, um, especially in the winter it gets much more on the drier side. But I like to use this Be Fine Food Skin Care Exfoliating Cleanser with brown sugar, sweet almond, and oats. Um, this was recommended by Miss Clamorazzi here on YouTube. Um, been watching her videos for a while, and um, yeah, she had recommended it, just saying that it was a really soft um, exfoliator, and it kind of like turns into this like creamy lather after you like kind of blend it in a little bit. And honestly, it works amazing. Um, the only other one that I found that I like, somewhat comparable to this, is that apricot um, scrub that you get at drugstores. And even that I've found is a little bit too harsh. So this is great. Um, I probably use this around every five to seven days. And then I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Um, this is, okay. Well, next Zima, now that you've seen it. But um, when I first, probably when I was around 12 years old, um, I was looking for a face wash and... Um, I went to the store with my dad, and he was like, you know, your aunt has amazing skin. She's been using Naxima for, like, years and years. And I was like, hmm, okay. Well, I don't know. I was 12, so I didn't know anything. So, like, why not? I'll try it out. Well, I have been using this, you guys, since I was 12, okay? So it's been, like, nine years, and I swear by it. I love it. I've never found anything that comes close. Um... My boyfriend has, like, the opposite skin type as me. He's got really, like, oily skin, and it works amazing on him. He had, um, some issues with outbreaks and stuff in his face, like, acne, obviously, and, um, this cleared up his skin, and he was so skeptical at first, and I was like, you should really try this, like, and it worked amazing on him as well, which I was really pleased to find out that it works on many skin tones. I knew it worked amazing on mine, or skin types, I'm sorry, not tones. But anyways, it's just, like, really minty and fresh, and it comes in this big pot. They also have, like, a pump version of some different kinds. I, um, much prefer the original version. Um, the other versions might work better for your skin tones, but I highly recommend these. So, or this kind, in particular. Um, so yes, this is the original deep cleansing cream. Highly recommend it. So what I'll do is before I get in the shower, I'll take like a makeup wipe and just wipe off all of my makeup. And then um, I will use this in my exfoliator every once in a while, throw that into the like mix. But I swear by Noxzema. And like if you ever get a sunburn or anything, um, which I know I try to be good about SPF, but I forget sometimes. Um, I put this on it and I swear it makes it go away in like a day. Not even. Amazing. So definitely run out and get it. If I didn't mention the price already, it's like 4 or $5. Um, available at like all drugstores, Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens. 4 or 5 bucks. It lasts me probably a couple of months, I'd say. As far as body wash goes, um, I tend to stick with <laughs> um, Dove. Dove bars of soap work amazing. Um, I know it's nothing glamorous. But it's a great lather. It cleans your skin amazing. Um, I have really sensitive skin as well. So for me, this works perfect. This has a nice light scent. Light scent. This is the rose scent, which I do like. I also use the Olay Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter Monstrous Body um, Wash. And I do, I tend to use it with, like, one of those poof balls. But, um... For exfoliating, mine kind of dropped in the hallway the other day, so I tossed it because the hallways are filthy um, in college dorms, so I'm sure you are aware of that if you live in one, but yeah, so that's that. Love it. Highly recommend it. Good lather. Works great. Okay. As far as shaving cream, I have found myself enjoying the EOS, let's see, Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream Ultra Moisturizing Paraben Free with Natural Aloe and Shea Butter. Vanilla Bliss. Works amazing, it says. Shave wet or dry. Um, I don't like to shave dry, but I mean, I guess you can do both. Works great. Um, smells good. Um, I really like it. I have sensitive skin, like I mentioned, so for me shaving, I need a good um, cream. And this is more like on the cream side, I would say. It almost feels like a lotion when you put it on. 
really like it. I just use the Venus Disposable Razors. Um, I love Sensodyne toothpaste, so I will use this. Um, I have sensitive teeth, so for me, the Sensodyne Pro Enamel and the Sensodyne in general brand, I highly recommend. Um, definitely not affiliated with any of these brands whatsoever. Um, all of these products I have been using in my collection for, except for the Pantene mask, I want to say everything, at least a year. Most of them, several, several years. So these are things that I could really honestly tell you work amazing for me. Um, other than that, oh, I guess I should talk about a couple last things. Soap and Glory Body Exfoliant. Love it. Mmm, smells sweet and like fruity. This is like the trial, or not the trial, the travel size. Um, they carried this brand at Target for a while, and I know they pulled it from the U.S. for like a year, and it's supposed to be coming back anytime. Um, I had one of those like jumbo containers, so I had transferred it into the smaller container. But um, that should be coming back soon. You can go to Soap and Glory Cosmetics .com. Com, I believe, and um, find out all the information about that. It has like an alligator on the cover of it. Okay. And as far as lotions go, like I mentioned before, I do have really dry, sensitive skin, so as soon as I get out of the shower, I can just feel my skin like thirsty, like it needs something. Um, and so I jumped to the Cetaphil because uh, my dermatologist had recommended it um, a few years ago. Because I had just found that like whatever I was using was never working and I highly, highly recommend this. Um, it doesn't really have a scent to it. Um, it just works great. This is the moisturizing cream for dry, sensitive skin. They do have, sorry, they do have a face wash. For whatever reason, my skin doesn't react well to that face wash and I have my eczema so I don't need it anyways. But um... Cetaphil is amazing. They have lighter versions of like a lotion, not such a deep cream. Um, if you're somebody that maybe doesn't need like a heavy cream, this works amazing. I highly recommend it. You can get this at Walgreens, um, Walmart. I want to say it's around $14 for this, which is I know a little bit pricey for like drugstore stuff, but it works amazing. Um, I highly recommend it. Other than that, I think that's pretty much it. I do like to use, um, once the winter comes around and my skin is extremely dry, what I like to do is I just got this, like, um, I'll either use, like, olive oil or, um, nourishing body oil. This is the Burt's Bees Mama Bean Nourishing Body Oil. And what I'll do is I take this and I pour it into, like, one of these little trial size containers that you can get it, well this one's clearly from Target, and um, just fill it up and I spray it like over my body, like over the areas that are like more dry than usual, or then, you know what I mean, um, and yeah, it's just extremely moisturizing, I tend to use that more in the winter, it's not necessarily um, needed during the summer months, just because my skin kind of like has more moisture to it and it's not as dry as it gets over the winter. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I hope that helped. Um, for any of you guys that are, I don't know, looking at shower supplies or trying to switch up your routine a little bit to find something that works, um, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I do completely vouch for all of these products. Um, for me, they have worked fabulous. Um, I am a college student on a budget, and I'm very pleased with these products. So you can definitely find good stuff at the drugstore, and you don't need to get super high-end stuff to um, work well for you. So I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, um, like I said, definitely feel free to add them in down below. Um, any feedback, questions that you guys would have, can't wait to hear them, and I hope you guys have a great day, and yeah, that's about it. Take care.